What started out as a fun hobby as a child turned into a lifelong career for one Lafayette man. As you're about to find out, electronics and Ivan Davis go hand in hand. Probably what got me interested is the, uh, uh, I had a brother that was in the Navy and he came home talking about uh, being in electronics and uh, I guess that was my first interest. And uh, then from there I uh, got out of high school and uh, and went to Nashville and got a job and uh, got a job in TV repair and electronics when I went to Nashville. So, so it worked out pretty good getting a start. Yeah. And then how long did you stay there before you ch uh, changed and went to another job? Well, I stayed in Nashville probably three or four years. Uh, I came back to Lafayette as a young man, probably 25 or 28, something like that, and uh, uh, got uh, got started in. Uh, I worked for uh, Gans Home Supply here in Lafayette for several years and then eventually uh, went out on my own uh, a little bit later. How long have you owned your own business as far as, far as Davis Electronics is concerned? Uh, probably 30 years, Sales my guess. Uh, yeah, and we've seen a lot of changes over the years. Uh, of course, we came from uh, TV repair back when we was first in electronics and then uh, probably uh, a lot of the tube days, old TV tube days, and now all of it's transistor and smaller electronic equipment, but it's uh, it's been a big change to keep up with everything. And you are listening to WEEN Radio in Lafayette, Tennessee. We uh, invite you now to uh, join us for a program presented by the Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. As far as the radio station is concerned, you're on the radio station here too. How did that all come about? Uh, well, uh, I done maintenance for the radio station when Bill Speck was out there, and uh, and Bill decided he probably wanted to retire from that. And uh, uh, Bill, I wanted to uh, keep the station local and in the community, so uh, we worked out a deal, and it, that worked out good. And Bill had done a lot in the community over the years; uh, it's been a big plus for the community, and. Uh, and I wanted to keep it going, so that's how, how I ended up with the station. How much of a challenge is it just keeping it on air daily? Well, I've got uh, some good management at the station. Uh, Linda McDonald, of course, manages the station. She takes care of the day-to-day -day operation as far as uh, media and, uh, and that type stuff. Uh, I do maintenance as far as uh, keeping the uh, transmitter on the air and stuff, so uh, I am not involved as much in the uh, media end of it as I am the electronic end of it, but uh, uh, as far as uh, electronics, it's not a big challenge to keep it going, but uh, the media end of it, uh, it's one of them things you have to be there uh, morning and night, so it's a daily routine, especially for Linda like that. Right. Yeah. As far as other radio stations, don't you help other stations too sometimes when it comes to electronics? Uh, yeah, we do. We do a lot of maintenance for different radio stations. We work in Galton, Franklin, Kentucky, and a lot of different areas we travel and uh, do maintenance for different radio stations. So, yeah, we, we enjoy that as well. What's the biggest challenge of owning two different businesses? Because technically the radio station would be a business and then your own business here, Davis Electronics. Well, uh, I guess the best thing about that is the good management at the radio station, and uh, they take care of that, so I don't have to deal with that end on a day-to-day -day basis uh, as much as I do here. And uh, it's a little bit of a challenge, but it, it's not a big problem since I've got good management. Do you have a lot of customers who come here who may have a problem with a television or something like that that they ask asking for your help? Uh, we do, but now we don't work on any TVs. We haven't probably in 20 years, okay. but uh, we still put up some TV antennas, but we don't... Uh, don't work on any TVs or anything, but yeah, we actually, we probably serve a pretty wide range of electronics. We deal with two-way radio and, uh, uh, and service uh, broadcast radio stations, do some traveling for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we are a Verizon agent here in the store. So we, uh, we cover several areas, I guess, in electronics done this most of your life could you see yourself doing anything else ever or is this is this it for you well I probably won't make a career change now 
but uh, yeah, it's been interesting. We've enjoyed it, and uh, and I've had some good help along with uh, everybody, and it's uh, it's worked out good. And the community's been good to us, and, uh, and we've enjoyed it. I guess you could say it's been a good marriage between Davis and his chosen career. Reporting in Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.